Hey guys, it's Bailey from Making Up the Midwest, and this is going to be a review of Revlon's new Ultra HD lipsticks. They're going to be 14 shades within this line that's going to become part of the permanent Revlon lipstick collection. There are a few shades that I got to try. I wanted to see what the light, nudie, more natural shades are like versus the super bright shades. You can see they come in packaging that is very, very similar in shape to the Revlon lip butters. However, this obviously has a clear top, and unlike the lip butters, the lipstick doesn't lay flush with the tube, which can be really prob problematic, and it's my least favorite part of this entire product, because when you close, you can already see, if you get a close-up in of that top, that the product is already scraping off along the side here. That problem completely goes away as you wear the product down, but in the meantime, you're constantly having to worry about putting the top on properly so it doesn't get everywhere. Now, before I even talk about the application and wear, I feel like one of the first things I have to mention, because it is one of the first things I noticed, is the scent. It's very over overpowering and to me it's very fruity kind of like a cherry scent however I have heard some people say that it they hate it it has a chemically scent to them so I think it's going to depend largely on your specific sense of smell to me personally it's not offensive but it is definitely overwhelming and that does transfer into a taste so right off the bat if you are super sensitive to scent or taste these are not for you the formula is not so bad once it's on your lips, a few of them do come off as streaky, namely HD Tulip and Geranium. Those two, you can see they have sort of, they're not completely opaque on the lips. However, the other two shades that I have, Gladiolus and Orchid, you can see all these names are flowers. They apply beautifully, boldly, super evenly and opaque. And across the board, they have great lasting power. I would say it's less emollient than a lip butter and it definitely doesn't nourish the lips as much as a lip butter does, but I didn't notice it leaving my lips that dry. In terms of wear, it lasted hours. I was probably most impressed with the wear time with these. The color itself, I found, lasted well through drinking. Not so much through eating, but that's a lot to be expected through a product that's not a stain. So I would say, you know, three and a half to four hours, very impressive for a drugstore lipstick for me. While the finish of these may wear away between one and one and a half hours, the pigment is definitely there to stay long term. Overall, these new lipsticks are kind of a coin toss for me. I definitely don't like them as much as the HD Lip Blackers in this collection. You can click in the info bar for a review of these. But there are some shades to love and some to leave. If you are sensitive to taste and smell, I do recommend that you leave these. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this review helped. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! If you like this video, don't forget to check out some of the others I have. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!